All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, before I get started, as always, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, Wahabrachakwadash, which Yahweh, that's the Heavenly Father's true name, Yahweh Shai, that's whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, that's his true name, and Rachakwadash, that is the Holy Spirit. And I also want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach on the scriptures. And salutations to all the brothers out there who are pushing this word in all truth and in all sincerity. And uh, today I just want to get into this lesson that was inspired by a uh, conversation that I was overhearing from these people at the gym when I was in the sauna. And, you know, after my workout, I uh, went into the sauna and, you know, there was a couple people, you know, several people in the, uh, like I said, in the sauna and, you know, they were conversing with one another. And basically, when I was uh, listening to them, you know, they were saying that they're pretty much going to use this, you know, AI technology to their advantage, right? You know, to um, basically get better jobs or to sell, you know, work, whatever it may be. And they were mentioning how, you know, they can... Uh, uh, um, you know, sell AI generated art. They can basically have an AI generated, um, you know, essay. Okay. You know, be used. You know, so on and so forth. And, you know, these are the type of people that are always trying to finesse, always trying to somehow um, get a few steps ahead of the pack, so to speak. And it kind of, you know, it basically made me laugh because, see, these guys, they really believe that, you know, America is going to continue forever and ever. And, you know, it's going to be business as usual, you know, at, you know, at all times. And, you know, we know eventually this place is going to fall. OK, you know, we, you know, the followers and believers of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the hopeful elect. OK, and I'll say this. This um, this push for AI is gonna do two things. It's gonna um, it's gonna uh, continue to destroy the economy that we see at hand, because basically what's happening is AI is taking people's jobs. And even with those guys, when you know what they were talking about, it made me laugh because they're gonna use AI to do their jobs, you know, and they're gonna benefit off of it, you know, for. A time period but eventually AI is just going to take their jobs completely you know everyone's going to you know uh, you know uh, uh, catch on to things and realize you know what what's the point of even using people anymore you know we could just you know get um, AI to you know perform our work and secondly a lot of people they're not even you know they don't have any uh uh, you know, creative ideas anymore. They're using AI to, you know, to complete it I anyways. So what's the point? So they're just going to completely eliminate guys like that. You know, like I said, it made me chuckle because, you know, it's it's a short-lived idea, you know. And um, that's one thing, like I said, you know, AI is going to, you know, destroy the, you know, economy. And secondly, what's going to get pushed forth is this whole transhumanism, which is going to um, fulfill... The scripture of uh, Revelation 13 and 16, you know, that mark, okay, the era of karagma, as I like to call it, that's what's going to get pushed uh, uh, forth, all right? And you see, at the end of the day, if you don't push your, you, you put your trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you're going to fall. Everything's going to collapse on your head, Okay? This is a house that's built on sand. And when that storm comes, it's going to, you know, uh, it's going to be blown away. You see? But let me get this scripture. We'll start off with this, you know, Isaiah chapter 30, verse 1. And it reads here, Woe to the rebellious children. And those rebellious children are talking about the Israelites. Okay? You so-called black Latinos and Native Americans. And a uh, little side note, the uh, the ones that were, you know, you know, uh, uh, who had that conversation were pretty much all Jakes. 
okay? I think there was only like maybe one, uh, uh, I know an Elamite individual, uh, you know, said a couple, you know, things. You know, he added his two cents into the, you know, into the situation. But for the most part, it was all Jake's. That were talking, you know, about this whole AI thing, you know? As it says there, woe to the rebellious children. And it's going to explain why. Say it the Lord Yahweh, that take counsel, but not of me, and that cover what they're covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin. They have walked to go down into Egypt, and have not asked at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh, and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. And see, that's what our people are doing. Okay? And that's why the rebellious, instead of following their, you know, power, which is Yahweh Bashim Shai, they're trusting in Egypt, which America is modern day Egypt, as the scriptures say. Okay? You know, them trusting in AI, them trusting in um, this system. Is going to lead to their destruction. Like I said, eventually everything's going to fall upon their, you know, upon their head. And they're not going to be able to escape it. You see? And the reason why is because instead of listening to the men of the Lord, the prophets who have been teaching, you know, uh, decades upon decades, this truth, they push it away. You know, they seek, you know, other, you know, things. They seek other answers. Right? And, 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 and this is why they're going to fall. Because when all hell breaks loose, that's when these people are going to try to, you know, get on board. But by that point, it's going to be too late. You had an opportunity, you know, to inquire, to get right. And, you know, during that time period, you, you may have mocked. You may have seen what we're saying as insignificant and you push it to the side. You see? But let me keep reading. This is Isaiah 30 and 3. And it says, Therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame and the trust in the shadow of Egypt your confusion. You see? You know, the strength of Pharaoh, that's going to be your shame. And the trust of the shadow of Egypt, that's going to be your confusion. And see, as we continue to get closer to the end of this system, it's going to be very chaotic out here. And you see, these people are going to be confused and they're not going to have answers. They're not going to know what to do. You know? And that's the worst uh, 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 thing. You know, to, uh, for a person is not having answers. They're in complete darkness. Don't know what's going on. And that's going to, um, that's going to uh, have them lose hope, okay, in the system that they, uh, you know, have believed in. And that's going to make them, uh, make a lot of people, you know, kill themselves or lose it. And they're just going to go on, uh, you know, these uh, uh, these suicide missions, so to speak, you know, you know, creating havoc, because you're gonna have a lot of people, you know, in their minds, they're gonna say, you know what, if if I'm falling, I'm taking a a, a, a few people with me, you know. See, things are gonna start, you know, turning up more and more, and we we see it. It's getting worse and worse out here. And the Lord's going to keep uh, uh, turning up that heat. Get things, you know, um, you know, more uh, uh, stressful. Okay. More uh, uh, chaotic. It's going to get real crazy, man. All right. But let me get this. Uh, let's get this one. This is... Um, Jonah chapter 2. And I'm going to get straight to the point. Verse 8. They that observe lying vanities forsake their own mercies. Or, or own mercy. And that's pretty much what these guys have done. They're uh, observing lying vanities. Okay. They're really putting their trust into this system. Like I said, these guys 
are trying to, you know, uh, get ahead of the pack and, you know, use this AI to their benefit. And like I said, you know, yeah, they, they may, uh, you know, make a little bit of money off of it. You know, but, but like I said, these things are short-lived, okay? You know, let's say after a year, a couple months, whatever it may be, maybe even two years, now what's going to happen? You know, you guys are going to be out of a job, you know, to, you know, scrambling, trying to find work. But there's going to be, as the scriptures say in the book of Isaiah, there's going to be no work for Egypt very soon. And I all I hear on the radio or, you know, when I'm looking up articles, you, 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 you hear about how AI is taking jobs. I just heard on, on the radio that you're, they're, um, there's a push for um, basically like automated uh, drive through systems where, you, you know, you may, uh, um, you know, type on a kiosk what you want or you're, if you are talking to someone, it's really not even a person. It's just going to be, you know, some type of uh, uh, AI, like a Siri, basically. And they're trying to uh, 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 push that. And then they, and it was funny because they were trying to, you know, because they were talking about how it's going to, you know, uh, create job losses. But then they were saying, well, there's going to be some jobs that are, that are going to be lost, but then new ones are going to be gained. Because they were saying, oh, yeah, we're still going to need people to oversee these, you know, robots and AI and, you know, uh, uh, you know, someone that has to, you know, there's going to there's gonna be a need of someone to uh, be a technician and, you know, make repairs, etc. But let's say if that's all in all true. Yeah, you, you, you know, you created three new jobs, but then you just eliminated 10. You see? <laughs> and then eventually even... Those jobs are going to get taken, you know, uh, uh, they're going to get taken by AI. You see? This is what's really happening out here. And then, like I said, then they're going to uh, try to incorporate everything to transhumanism. Which, like I said, that's going to lead to the era of Karagma. And then these people are going to, uh, you know, you know, take that implantable digital uh, device. Okay? And they're going to be destroyed for that. They that, I'm going to read it again, Jonah 2 and 8. They that observe lying vanities forsake their own mercy. Okay, and really, you Israelites have mercy, okay? We're in the, uh, what is it, um, uh, uh, we're in the, the grace period right now. This is, uh, our time to get right with Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. To clean up, basically. To get our act right. But a lot of our people, they don't want, you know, want that. So they're going to get punished for, you know, you know, uh, 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 not taking heed to what's, you know, being said. Okay. You know, but um, that's pretty much it. You know, I'm just going to do a quick lesson. We don't have to keep going on. But like I said, you know, this was, you know, like, a, uh, you know, just inspired by these guys at the gym and. You know, these, these people really trust in this system, man. They really do. They, they don't think it's going to go down. These, these people think that the beast system is going to continue forever and ever. And it's just going to be business as usual. All day, every day. But it's not. Eventually, this system is going to crash. And the Lord's about to, you know, uh, pull this place down. All right, but with that, you know, hopefully this was an edifying one. And with that, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashim al Shai. Also, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And salutations to all you brothers out there. Shalom and a bob, a ball.